One of my favorite teachers I had as a fifth grader, his name was Mr. Santos. Mr. Santos was a, a relatively sprite individual, but he had like a huge presence. Um, one of the things that I remember most about him is that he would, he would basically, if there was one student who, who had a behavioral issue, the entire class would pay for it. So, for example, if someone sort of interrupted him during, you know, one of our, uh, one of his lectures, he'd have the entire class walk up and down the stairs in the school like 15 times. And, and I remember at the time I was thinking like, this man is crazy. Why would he do this? You know, he's a really smart guy and I learned so much. But I think one of the things that he was trying to teach us is about accountability and sort of like realizing that you are setting an example not only for yourself, you know, or our friend, but for your entire community, for your entire class, for your entire school. Even for him, he's, you're representing me. You know, this is a representation of what I'm doing here, and I want to make sure that you all realize that your actions um, go beyond just yourself. Um, his class was probably the first class where I actually developed um, an interest in writing. He was the first teacher who introduced me to an ode. And, I, and the funny thing is, you think about what you think about at age 10 or, you know, or younger or whatever. And the ode that I wrote was to grape juice. You can't pay me to drink grape juice now, but, cause it's too sweet for me now. But this was during a time where I was still eating uh, Jolly Ranchers and, and, and pickles. You know, so my, my palate has since developed <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs>